Welcome, today, Ukraine shoots down 13 kamikaze drones attacking Kiev. Ukraine shot down all 13 Iranian kamikaze drones targeting Kiev in a barrage of missile attacks on the capital on Wednesday. The terrorists began this morning with 13 Shahids. All 13 were shot down by Ukrainian air defense, according to preliminary information. Well done guys, I'm proud, President Volodymyr Zelensky said. Explosions rocked the central Shevchenkivsky district and two administrative buildings were damaged, but city officials said air defenses had prevented serious damage. Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Yuri Anat said the attack was deliberately timed for when it was dark to make it harder to shoot the drones down. The people of Ukraine and their representatives were handed the European Union's top human rights prize Wednesday for their resistance to Russia's invasion and defiance during the ongoing war. The 27-nation bloc awarded the brave people of Ukraine the prize in October. Yulia Pajewska, founder of the medical evacuation unit Angels of Terra, human rights activist Alexandra Matvichuk and Ivan Fedorov, mayor of the occupied city of Melitopol, were on hand to receive it during a solemn ceremony in Strasbourg, France. We have witnessed the inspiring resistance of ordinary citizens making the ultimate sacrifice to delay a column of tanks, senior citizens standing up to face down Russian troops with nothing but pride as their weapons. Brave women forced to give birth in underground metro stations, said European Parliament President Roberta Metzola. To these people, the message from Europe has been clear. We stand with Ukraine. We will not look away, she said. A U.S. citizen has been released by Russia as part of a prisoner exchange with Ukraine that involved dozens of detainees, the head of Ukraine's presidential administration said Wednesday. Andrei Yermak wrote on the Telegram messaging app that Swati Mirakizi had been helping our people before ending up in Russian custody. He said 64 Ukrainian soldiers and the bodies of four fallen soldiers had been handed over by Russia but did not say when the exchange took place or how many Russians had been handed over. The Guardian last week quoted him as saying he was detained in June in the southern city of Kherson, which was occupied by Russian forces at the time. He was released in late October after being held in various locations and had been living without documents in the city of Donetsk, which is controlled by forces backed by Russia, the Guardian said. The Russian state news agency TASS reported in August that Mr. Murakizi had been charged in Donetsk with inciting ethnic hatred for protesting against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Mr. Murakizi's lawyer said he had become involved in those protests by chance, TASS reported. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged Europe on Wednesday to help set up a tribunal swiftly to try Russia's leadership for the crime.